Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 15 and we're going to do subtraction and This is the first of our tutorials on this Now, let's begin by looking at a question. Let's suppose we've got this 12 minus something equals 4. 12 minus something equals 4. Now there are a number of different methods we can use to do this. You can use the dot method, you can use the number line, or you can use the counting method. What we're going to do is, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to use mental arithmetic. So let's have a look at the question again. 12 minus something equals 4. So we start off with 12, and we're going to end with 4. So we have to get from 12, and after the equal sign, it is 4. Now how do we do that? Now, in the, with the numbers below 10, we used a bag of sweets. But now the numbers are getting slightly larger, so we don't want to do that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use number bonds. And we're going to go from 12 back to 4. So with the number bonds, what we do first is, let's just uh, change colors with this. We're going to go from 12 to 10, and then from 10 to 4. Now, you can either go backwards in this, or we can go this way and count up. Either way, we get the same answer. So, let's have a look at the first part, which is the number bonds to 10. What number added to 4, this 4 over here, gives us 10? What number added to 4 gives us 10? Now, if you know your number bonds, the answer is 6. 6 plus 4 equals 10. And the second part is to go from 10 to 12. How many do we need to go from 10 to 12? The answer is 2. So now, simply, we have to add the 6 and the 2 together. 6 plus 2 is 8. 12 minus 8 equals 4. Now, as you get faster at this, you won't need to do the workings that we've done over here. You'll be able to work it out very quickly in your head. So now, let's look at another question. Now, suppose we have this. We've got something minus 6 equals 5. Something minus 6 equals 5. Now, we can use the number bonds, the mental arithmetic that we have, but we're going to show you a little trick with this. When you have this particular question, where you're trying to find out the first number, what you can do, very simply, is to move the 6 to that side and make it a plus question. Don't forget, this box here means that something minus 6, so you've got something, you're taking away 6, gives you 5. So what you can do is you can rewrite this question. You can say something equals the 5, which we have over here, plus the 6. Something equals 5 plus 6. Well, what's 5 plus 6? That's a nice easy one. 5 plus 6 is 11. Now, believe it or not, if we put 11 over here in the question, 11 minus 6, does that equal 5? Yes, it does. So, therefore, you can actually, if you've got a minus here, you can move this number to that side and add it. Let's have a look at one more question where we're using this very simple trick. So now let's suppose we're trying to find one particular number. 
something minus 3 equals 9. So something minus 3 equals 9. Now let's use the trick we had above there. So now we're going to say something equals 9 plus 3. So something equals 9 plus 3. Well, what's 9 plus 3? Well, the answer is 12. Let's write that down. 12 minus 3 equals 9. And that is a really nice trick to know. When you have the minus, you're trying to find the first number, move it across and add it to the number on the right. Have a practice with some numbers at, at this, and you'll know this to be true, and you'll be able to work out this square box quicker and quicker. So that is how we do find missing number with numbers up to 15 and we're going to and we've done subtraction